can you airdrop that one? Oh, I was like expecting so fucking good. Wait, can I touch more? Yeah, keep going. I think that one might be my favorite. Yeah. I think because you can see the nails and you can see your face. Oh my god, it looks so good. My name is Tam. American, you can call Tammy. I'm a manicurist. I'm an owner in a chin chinel city of Stadgadero, California. In my shop, I do pedicure, manicure, facial, waxing for everything. When I came first in America, I like to do the nails because I can go to the school faster. I think a lot of people Vietnamese do nail because look like me too. When we in the Vietnam, we never go to school. We go to the state board. We can take the test by the language Vietnamese too. I think about 80% people Vietnamese, they own the business. Hello, my name is Wee Vu. I go by any pronouns. Um, so just to give a quick little introduction about myself. I like people. I guess that's like a good start, a um, really good indicator about me. I'm a very much a social person um, and I love my nails done. I'm a really artsy person. I love to get dressed up, you know, the full nine yards, the full tea. I was two years and two weeks old when I first immigrated to the US, uh, Vietnam with my mom. My mom originally decided to immigrate here through my grandparents. They did like the whole, you know, like whole program uh, immigration thing where they basically sponsored her to come here. Um, and obviously she took the better choice. We settled down in San Jose and then we eventually branched out a little bit. Um, I moved to this place called San Luis Obispo County, but I'm back now in the Bay. <laughs> is this to your first that my mom I stole from my mom again this is not mine she will be expecting this back but this was one of her first purchases when she came to America because like she always wanted like a designer thing so I stole it and yeah that's just essentially like the whole outfit my mom wasn't always around to take care of me and I'm not saying that and like oh she never was like around to take care of me not in like like a bad way or anything she was just like I said, again, like first generation working parent. So again, added to the extra layer that she was a single mom. So she was definitely at work a lot. My mom's journey um, on starting to be a nail tech was definitely challenging. I remember there are multiple times where she would work for like, I wanna just make a rough estimate for like 20 to $40 a day. And she was able to really like work you know, the American dreams, like move to America, really pull herself up from the bootstraps and like really work. And she worked her way up and now she has a shop. So, inspiration. <laughs> when I still in the single mom, I have my Nana. She look like the sister. I know her when I was young. I'm lucky because I have her. When I have go to work all the time, she helped me cooking, clean up, teach my son Vietnamese too. That's why right now my son can talk more language.
Hi, my name is Victoria. I'm a Bay Area nail tech and I recently just moved to San Jose. The way that I market my business is very like social media based and like word of mouth. Um, typically, I always have like a set on me and like people always compliment. So I was like, oh yeah, like I do nails. For TikTok though, I do only do like tutorials and like kind of like a rundown of like how of like my process and everything and people love that. For me, my specialty would be like a tapered square or like a coffin shape because it's more like with pointy edges. You can literally like poke somebody and it will probably hurt them, but um, but yeah, that's what I mean by like a crisp um, shape. Dude, I really fucking like the euphoria nails that are going around. I know they're like so basic at the moment, but like, they just gives me something. I was thinking, what if instead of for white freshness, we do baby blue? Baby blue? Yes. You don't think that's gonna clash with all your... No, because I just realized I'm gonna be working with a lot of like blues. I think it'll work. The first time I saw my son wear the acrylic item about two years ago, he get from the my shop. I don't feel bad because sometimes he wear he can rock at men. Customer fan from him with me too. The new style right now is very popular, longer nail with many kind of shape. The older clan, they very simple. They just like it the older. But with the younger, it's very hot. They have a lot of picture ring with them. <laughs> An upcoming nail tech. I feel like they focus more on like design. We all have like our own style, which is like you, you can go to um, one nail tech and you'll go to another nail tech, but it won't be like exactly the same. The nail industry, it's become like super like versatile. You could literally do anything. There's like nail techs who do literal like art canvases on the nails where they like spend hours painting like little canvases on them. With my clients, like, although it may take a long time, like I will make sure like they were leaving with like my best work. For the get the license manicure, I need finish from the school. 400 hours. Someone say, if open the business, don't have smile, cannot stay longer. I still want to keep the business and still when I turn 65 years old. I like to do the pedicure because when I work with a lot of clan, they have many clan, they have the fungus for your toe, they have the enro for your toe, and when I do with them, I can cut all off. They choke me, I look like the doctor, do for the fix, but I'm not. If I ever am going to a salon, I'm definitely gonna go for a pedicure because like nowhere else, nowhere else can give a better pedicure than a nail salon, period. I do believe that um, traditional nail shops will be around in the future because majority of all nail shops, like they, provide pedicures. That's why I do believe like um, they'll still be around. So I don't really see like traditional nail salons as like a competition, mainly because um, sometimes when you go to a nail salon, they can't um, really do like complex designs. And when you go to um, traditional nail shops, sometimes, sometimes they do be rushing to get like more and more clients in because um, they need more money and they, that's how they keep their shop open, right? And um, so that's why I think that's what makes us um, the same but also different because with us, like we do take our time more on designs. Rock one. Yeah. <laughs> no, mom, no. No, no. Oh, made in Vietnam. This is cute. Try it. Yeah. <laughs> Do the nail style, we need the update for every 
time different. It's very hard for the nail because we have many kind for the plant. Customer from the teenager, from the baby, from the owner, from the man. That's why we need the follow and then update. The way I would compare myself with traditional um, nail salons is that sometimes they tend to just take clients in and they won't like spend the extra hours making sure your nails are like perfect. So I do think like we both can coexist, but um, the upcoming nail artists are becoming more popular because they're more precise with their work. I just remember watching like this Vietnamese music videos and these ladies, they had like these long cultural nails like literally out to here. Cause I was just like so obsessed with like the confidence associated with the look. So I kind of always associated like, you know, long nails, like long lashes, long, long hair with like confidence. And I always wanted to like unlock that. Nails was like a stepping stool of like getting that confidence within myself.